Hey, welcome to Just Cook Janny. I'm Janny, and I'm here to show you how to cook because it's not that deep. Today we are making my dad's roast pork belly, and we're gonna make it in an instant pot, so I'm not cooking it for eight hours. Uh, it's only going to be one hour. With a side of my grandma's cucumbers, the infamous recipe, and of course, white rice. Rice, it is the best. I've been eating it all my life, of course. Big surprise. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to wash it and prepare it. General rule of thumb, one cup per person. It's okay if you have leftovers, if that happens. And we're just gonna go ahead and wash it. You can use cold water. Sometimes if you're in cold weather, you might wanna use a little bit of medium cold water. You wash it about two to three times. I like to do it three times. Sometimes you don't have enough time and you just do it two times because that will, that two minutes will be extra time you get to spend with your kid. My mom used to tell me that if you don't finish every grain of rice in your bowl, your husband will be ugly. Lucky for me, I married a woman, so maybe it doesn't apply. Here's why you need a rice cooker. It is so easy to use, it's super convenient, and it's non-stick and easy to clean. It even tells you all the markers of where you need to put your water level perfectly every single time. No more burnt rice. So you've washed your rice, you're ready to go. Drop it in your rice cooker, close it, press start. And it's got wonderful music. Cucumbers. This is my grandma's recipe. I'm sharing it with you because it's super easy. You can put these on top of salads. You can have them as sides, uh, put it in any rice bowl, uh, even for breakfast with a little bit of rice. There are a couple of different ways you can cut the cucumbers. You can slice them, you can half moon them. Just think about how you want to eat them. Are you gonna want big chunks? Are you gonna want little chunks? For me, I like this one specific cut that my chef mentor, Daniel Airdley, has taught me, and it creates like these little cute cucumber slices uh, that just look tasty to eat. So you take a slice and you rotate the cucumber on the flat side that you just cut, and you continue doing it until you are at the end of the cucumber. Diamond Crystal Kosher Salt. This is the only salt I cook with. It is the best. Your food's never over salted. It's delicious. Go get it. With your cucumbers, basically, you're gonna douse it with a lot of salt. Whoops, hello. And that's it. We're gonna let this sit for 30 to 40 minutes in the salt, and you'll find that the salt's gonna extract the water from the cucumbers, which you're gonna add rice vinegar to and a little bit of sugar for sweetness uh, to finish off the pickles. Garlic, half an onion, rosemary, star, anise. Ooh, hello, clove. Some dried thyme because I forgot to buy some at the store, and black peppercorns. Rock candy, this is the most important part of the dish. This is what brings its sweetness without using sugar or brown sugar. I don't even know, it's just magical. Pork belly, you can buy this at the Asian market as well in very large chunks. I'm not sure you can find it at the regular supermarket. Good luck. So now we're gonna take our pork belly and just cut it into nice cubes and perfect serving sizes. I use about two pounds of pork for four people. You might have leftovers, you might not. Every time I seem to try to have leftovers, there are none, but here we are. We're just gonna generously salt our pork with the wonderful kosher salt. And don't forget the pepper. Instant pot. 
So, Instant Pot is ready. Add some olive oil. And now the pork. So I put the side that I actually salted down. And of course, again, don't crowd your pan. And this way, you can salt this side because you always salt and pepper as you go. You can just brown on a couple sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't know about you, but I only have a certain amount of time before the baby wakes up. This is pretty typical in terms of any braising, whether you're gonna do it in a slow cooker or uh, the oven, you always sear and then bake. Time to take the first batch out. Ooh, look at that perfect sear. And take two. All right, now you've got that perfect brown caramelization at the bottom, yum. We add our onions and our whole garlic. Salt, pepper, as always. The onions are gonna start to caramelize and you'll see the brown bits start to get on the onions and that is where the flavor comes in. I'm gonna cook this about a couple minutes, let it just hang out. And then before it gets too brown, cause it's an instant pot, we're gonna add our herbs and our rock sugar. Stir that for a little bit. And then the chicken stock, the stock that we made out of the chicken bones from the How to Break Down a Chicken. Check it out. All right, we're gonna stir that up basically until this huge gigantic rock sugar dissolves. Don't forget to add your soy sauce and some kikoman, ajimirin. Once you leave that little stir, we're just gonna add the pork back. And don't forget to get all the juices that come out of it. If you need to, you can top it off with more stock, but you just wanna make sure everything is under the chicken broth so that nothing dries out too much. Don't forget to press cancel on your saute. You can cover your instant pot now. Make sure this valve is on closed. Press pressure cook on high for 15 minutes. So you can see that there's cucumber juices at the bottom. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, some rice vinegar. If you wanna get fancy, you can even add some red chili flakes. That'll give it a little extra kick. That's what my grandmother liked. And that's it, you're done. Our roast pork belly is done. So we have let it rest for 10 minutes. And now we're gonna let the steam out. It is almost done. We don't touch it until this silver piece is all the way down. And it's done. And ready for the re ready for the big reveal. We're gonna take all of our pork and set it aside. You end up with some onions. I don't think that's a terrible thing, but you probably don't want a big chunk of garlic or a big piece of star anise. Don't forget to use a different pair of tongs because now you have cooked food ready to be eaten. After you strain it, I'm gonna set it aside on a plate. Ooh, hello. We are gonna strain all of the good stuff out. If you really wanna get fancy, you get one of these things. This is a fat strainer. It's awesome and you don't end up having all the extra oil at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in here again. And you can see at the top, all of the oil is gonna come up at the top layer. And then we will put our instant pot back on saute and we're gonna reduce our stock. Well, sauce, sans fat. As it reduces, you wanna taste it to see how much you actually wanna reduce it. It's actually quite delicious and may not actually need to be reduced. 
but we'll reduce it maybe for five more minutes to make it a little thicker. We're gonna take a little bit of cornstarch, add some water, stir it up to make your slurry. Once your sauce is ready and reduced to the flavor that you like, just add that straight in there and that's just gonna thick it up, thick it up. And now once your sauce is ready, we're gonna add the beautiful pork back to the pot. I like to serve it straight out of the Instant Pot, because why make more dishes? Rice is ready, pork is ready, so are the pickles. Get a nice scoop of rice, add some pork belly, some pickles. Who doesn't like kimchi? I have not made kimchi by myself yet. Maybe that'll be something to come. And if you've made my scallion pancakes, you probably have some extra scallions around to garnish with. And that's my dad's roast pork belly with my grandma's pickles. Enjoy, I hope you make it at home and your whole family loves it. Evelyn's awake and I gotta go. Thanks for watching.